Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today Adobe has released a new version of Lightroom, uh, Lightroom Classic 9.2 and there's a couple of new features but there is one thing in particular that I want to talk about today and give you a quick demonstration of and that is the new default camera settings. So in the past if you wanted to set a certain range of settings for every image you had a couple of ways of doing it. You could apply a preset on import or you could make some changes and then set those changes as defaults but there was no real interface for that. So what they've done now is they have added a way of controlling what settings are used as defaults and you can do it as a global basis and on a per camera basis. But they've also done something else that's really interesting and that is they have an option now called camera settings which will basically try and match whatever picture mode you shot in camera with the corresponding picture profile in Lightroom. So for example, say you had shot some images in the standard profile, some in a vivid profile and so on. When you import your images into Lightroom, if you have the camera settings set as the default, then those images will apply the corresponding picture profiles if they have one. So any image you shot on standard will use the standard profile and any image you shot on, say, portrait will use a portrait profile and so on. So to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about, um, let me just show you. So in Lightroom, if you go to the preferences, you'll see in the presets tab, we now have uh, raw defaults. So the master is basically what is used for uh, any camera that you haven't a specific preset for. So it's your overall defaults basically. So the three options are Adobe default, which is basically the same as it was before, camera settings, which will try and match the camera profile to whatever picture modes you set in camera, and then presets, so you can apply a preset. So if you have your own preset that you always apply on import, you can set it here now and it will become the default. You can also add settings for each individual camera that you might use. So it will scan your library and any cameras that you've used will come up here. So at the moment I only have three. So let me just go here. I'm going to delete this and create a new one for the Sony a6000. So for my Sony a6000, I want the defaults to be camera settings. So when I go create default, now this will create a new default. So say for example, on my Nikon D700, I want to always apply a preset. So I have some import presets that I use. So see here, Nikon D700 import presets and JPEG match three. So that's a preset I set up that I tweaked the color slightly to better match the in-camera JPEGs. So that will now be applied every time I import any images from the Nikon D700. So let me just show you how camera settings actually works because it's kind of, it might be a little hard to understand until you see it in action. So what I did was I shot just a few test shots of with my A6000 and I basically changed the picture mode each time. So first was standard, then vivid and so on and so on. So I will now go and import those. So I have this set to camera settings. So if I go here, see camera settings. So this is the one that will match what you've shot in camera. Okay, so import, Ooh, import. Okay, so I go here. And so here's just a few images. And the one thing to be aware of is to make sure you have developed settings turned off because otherwise if you have a profile already set in this, it will overwrite it when you go to import. Uh, it will overwrite the automatic settings. Okay, so click import. Okay, and so I'll pop over to the develop module. Okay, so if we look over here, we see profile is now camera standard. Okay, and then if I go to the next one, you see it is camera vivid because that's what I had selected in camera. And then the next one is camera neutral. And then I have camera clear, which is another picture mode on the Sony's. So this will also work if you want to say, shoot some images in color and some images in monochrome and you have selected monochrome in the camera, then if you have camera settings set as your default, um, your black and white pictures will be black and white. So this is definitely something that people have wanted for a long time and I'm actually surprised it's taken so long to be able to do this. Um, but it is definitely something that I think people will like. 
The only thing I wish they had done was allow you to do something a bit more advanced so that you could match a preset to specific picture modes. So for example, say I have something set that I shot with the portrait mode and I actually have a preset, my own preset for portrait. It would, nice, it would be nice to be able to match that to any images I shot in portrait, but I guess it's a start anyway and we're heading in the right direction. So maybe in a future version, Adobe might add that feature as well. Although I can imagine the interface for that might get a bit complicated. So yeah, so basically that is just a super quick overview of the new raw default options. And I think the camera settings is probably the thing that's gonna be most interesting to most people. So anyway, I hope you found this useful. And don't forget to check out my blog where you can find details of the other features um, that have been added in this update. And if you like this video, please subscribe and check out my Patreon page if you want some behind the scenes content. And once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.